Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan. Uh, Leo Ryan's behind the camera. Today we're looking at this uh, complete guitar kit by a company named Rock Jam. And uh, got a bunch of stuff to look at, so let's get started. Lovely. My favorite. Another box. Like a Russian doll. As you will see, this is the Rock Jam full-size electric guitar super kit in Sunburst. Hope you can see that long enough. So, obviously we have a guitar in here. the Rock Jam guitar amplifier, 10 watts, with overdrive boost and headphone output. Who knows? I guess we're going to find out in a little And we've got a strap and a cord and a whammy bar and some picks. Looks like an extra set of strings. Hopefully there's strings on this guitar. Um, start playing today. You too can start playing today. Oh. We have a ubiquitous guitar raincoat. You know, when your gig bag folds up this small, it's it's not going to protect your guitar very much. Well, it'll keep the dust off. And, you know, considering the price of this guitar. Yes, and the package price was... I mean, complete package. Was? It was $92 when I bought it. It's 87 today. So... Well... But let's see how she plays, Dan. Yes. But in terms of uh, gig bags, you get what you pay for. Right. One of our viewers uh, mentioned that 
on him at this point, or at least the last time he was. The only person who started taking these things off from the bottom. And uh, I've got to give Leo credit for that. But it is a much... Look how easy that was. It would have taken me five minutes uh, a few weeks ago. And remember, kids, don't eat the... Now you tell me. Well, that's why. <laughs> okay. Well, here it is, the rock jam. It's uh, basically a sunburst strap design. I gotta tell you that this this guitar has one of the worst painted finishes of anything I've ever held, actually held in my hand. It doesn't look like the picture either. Uh, Seems just like a gloss in the picture. Yeah, well, in a minute I'm going to let you run your fingers over the black parts of this and you're going to see what I mean. Um, I know we, uh, we mention Ert guitars with some regularity because of uh, Earth guitars are kind of engineered to be um, low maintenance. So they tend to have a non-glossy finish. But well, what it is, do. it's very well done. It's, it's, it's well put on and uh, it, you know, it's doing its job. So I don't have anything against non-glossy finishes. But here, before we go any further, just... Just run your fingers over the black parts of that finish. And tell me what you think. Yeah, it's a little rough. <laughs> Do it on the front. Yep, yeah, it's a little rough. But uh... yeah, they all play the same in the dark, or they all look the same in the dark. So, yeah. but you know. But we will see. It does have some rather sharp fret ends. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to that yet. But, yeah. but uh, here, don't cut yourself. Okay, so there we go. Two dimes, one tone, five position switch. Uh, I think some of the finish. Uh, Flicked off onto my shirt here. Um, the frets themselves are not too bad. The fret ends, oh man, the fret ends are incredibly sharp. Um, like I said, don't cut yourself. Yeah, well. I'm, I'm thinking of, you know, of a kid, you know, say maybe uh, 10, 12 years old, wanting to play like they're, you know, they're actually playing and they're just kind of sliding their hand around. You, you could actually hurt yourself on, on these fret ends. And I know I've, I've had replies of people said, oh, that's not possible. Come on over here. I'll, and you can... Slide your hand up and down this neck for five minutes, and let's see who's who's hurt and who isn't. Because these these fret ends are uh, these are pretty sharp. They're not as bad as the ones that were on the daughter, though. They're, uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty close. Bad. Yeah, when you get up there at the top of the neck, they're pretty close. Right. Uh, we'll play a country western song. You'll never get there. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so the finish um, leaves much to be desired, let's put it that way. Uh, the dressing of the frets leaves a great deal to be desired. Looks like it's got a maple neck. Uh, 
regular plates for, for the back. Uh, these both look pretty sturdy and well installed. Tuning heads, we'll see when we tune it up. Uh, I'd say this is probably a plastic nut. For this price point, I would be surprised if it weren't. Let's see, what else? <laughs> Sounds like sandpaper when <laughs> well, my fingers are Is it coming off? Uh, well, it wouldn't surprise me a bit, but I don't see on any on my fingernails yet. And I'm not pushing down very hard either. Um, yeah, admittedly, that is just a cosmetic uh, flaw. But when you've looked at it, as many of these as I have at this point, you kind of, you kind of realize that if you're willing to let some something slide in one area, you're probably willing to let it slide somewhere else. Not positively, not absolutely, but probably. Uh, so there we go. The uh, Rock Jam guitar. Do you want to want to take this amp out? Or sure. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a break so we can do that, and we'll plug it in and give it a try. Okay, can hardly its, wait. With its wonderful cable that it came with. Yeah. Alrighty, we'll be back in a second. Thanks. Okay, folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at this uh, Rock Jam uh, guitar, uh, kind of be beginner's guitar kit, including a guitar and uh, a strap, uh, a gig bag, this little 10 watt out amp, and you know, picks and a set of strings. Basically everything you need to get started playing guitar. Um, we looked at the finish of the guitar, which is which leaves a great deal to be desired. Um, as long as we're talking about it though, when we reviewed uh, these two uh, fireflies, the uh, Strat and the uh, uh, Nashville uh, Tele, their finish is so furniture-like, so so slick, that I had a hard time uh, keeping them on my, on my lap, like, just like this. So Leo, being the uh, inventor that he is, decided to make <laughs> a strap-on uh, uh, guitar cushion. Uh, it won't slide. This is silicone material, so just trying to move it on the neck. As soon as you get some pressure on it, it won't move. So. Uh, I'm not going to use this right now. Uh, hopefully I'll never have to use it. But basically it just wraps around your leg. These are Velcro so you can get it sorted out so it's, you know, the right tightness and everything for a, a particular leg. And uh, it was a pretty creative solution to that problem. So if you do have a problem with guitar uh, sliding off, uh, Send Leo an email or a message through YouTube, and uh, maybe he'll make you one of these. Uh, up to him. But uh, well, I'll tell you how to make one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm so, not going into. I'm not going into business. Alrighty. So um, uh, we tuned this guitar up. Had a heck of a time tuning it up because. Uh, when they put the strings in, uh, the this high E string was the pitch was lower than this by about an octave, so, and pretty much every string was like that. They were they were so loose as to just barely have uh, been attached, and when they did that. The strings go through these holes here in this back plate. They didn't make sure that they were pulled all the way up tight. So uh, it, it was kind of startling. You get 
the string almost in tune and then it just like <laughs> and that happened three different times while we were tuning this guitar up. Scared the bejesus out of us. Anyway, we'll uh, retune and use the, our regular amp to go through the pickup sounds. I just wanted you to hear that this little amp actually does work. It's just an E power chord for those of you who want me to strum. There's an E and a D pull chords, and uh, this amp, 10 watts, it's got a master gain and a volume, it does have a headphone out. Um, <clears throat> oddly enough, it, it only has a treble control, and uh, no reverb or anything like that. And then it has this boost control that's supposed to give you some distortion, so we're going to kick that in now and see what we get. You can hear the hum increase. That's everything full up. So, I mean, that, that's as distorted as it's going to get, as far as I can tell. So, uh, you're not going to be doing any Van Halen uh, solos with this amp, uh, uh, based upon that. Kick that off so it doesn't hum so bad. So, but it is an amp, and it does amplify the guitar a little bit, so, you know, uh, if you're a beginner, I guess it's enough to at least hear what you're doing and kind of get, a, you know, if you're playing chords, you can tell if they're in tune or, you know, your guitar's in tune. So, there you have it. That's the uh, Rock Jam 10-watt uh, amp that comes as part of this $87 package. So uh, we're going to stop another time now and uh, plug it into the real amp and uh, go through the pickup sounds and that kind of stuff. So be right back. Thanks. By the way, it does have a handle. We just didn't put it on because we're going to put it back in the box. So. Yes, it's going to. It's the handle is basically like a very short plastic guitar strap, but uh, yeah, it has one. So all right, back in a minute. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at this uh, Rock Jam uh, Strat copy that comes with a whole kit of stuff, including a tiny little 10 watt amp. We've looked at that and played through it for a second. Um, now we're going to use a real amp and just go through the pickups. Uh, and uh, so this is the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> Surprisingly warm tone. Uh, and here is the neck and middle. Couple of minutes, it's been drifting out of tune 
somewhat, not horribly, but G strings out. Um, considering how loose the strings are when we tuned it up originally, and we have stretched it and you know tried to get it to hold tune, but you know that takes a while sometimes. One thing I did notice is that uh, when you get up to this part of the neck, uh, hope you can hear this. You get a kind of sitar sound, it's buzzing pretty badly. You want a cheap electric sitar, and you want to play, you know, basically a seventh fret to tenth fret. It's pretty much the way it sounds. When we play distorted, it is, that will probably not go away, but it just won't be as, as uh, obvious. This probably could use all of the bridge saddles being adjusted up, maybe a you know, sixteenth of an inch or something. But obviously, that's not the way a guitar is supposed to sound. So, so uh, there, there you have it, the pickup sounds. We're going to stop one more time and retune again and. Find something to play for you, and we'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, folks, Dan Ryan. Uh, we're looking at this uh, uh, Rock Jam uh, Strat copy. We've been over the finish and the pickups and the various things about it and the little amp that came with it. Uh, now we're just going to play something with it. And today we're going to use uh, the Mysterious Bluesy Groove Guitar Backing Track in F minor from Elevated Jam Tracks uh, who make wonderful wonderful backing tracks for practice and stuff so let's let's see what we get oh before I go on with that I have the guitar completely turned off because that's what it sounds sounds like with the, with the, everything turned up so I'm going to turn it back down and uh, so we can cover cover that up with the, with the backing track, uh, but here we go.
that's the elevated jam tracks mysterious blues groove backing track in F minor and uh, this is the rock jam uh, strat copy uh, $87 for the whole kit including the guitar and tiny little amp a guitar strap uh, something of a gig bag you know, the, all of the accoutrement that come with it the uh, whammy bar and capo picks I don't know if there's a capo but yeah there's a capo okay capo picks <laughs> uh, extra strings um, and just in terms of what you get, uh, I'd say that's probably a pretty good deal. In terms of the guitar itself, uh, we uh, what was the sixty-three dollar one we did recently? Groat. Oh, the Groat. <clears throat> the sixty-three dollar Groat was actually a much better guitar than this in terms of uh, setup and uh, intonation. And, just <clears throat> being able to actually play it right out of the box, pretty much. Uh, this one leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, although, as you just heard, it, it actually doesn't sound bad once you once you can start playing it. But you know, the action is all there's there's a, some kind of cratering here in the middle or rise on the neck. I'm not sure. Uh, so up here in the middle of the neck kind of sounds like a sitar when you're playing it clean when like i said when you play the you know distorted sound uh you don't hear that so much so anyway um there it is the rock jam strat copy uh make of it what you will uh, it's not my least favorite but it's far from my favorite either so i'm dan ryan leo ryan's behind the camera we want to thank you for uh Tune it in and hope you'll like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. And with that, see you next time.